I'm out here Saturday morning, just kind of checking things out and checking on my cantaloupe. And I noticed this. That is a hole that something has dug in my garden and I don't know what it is. So, oh, there's definitely a hole. Okay, well, new mystery. Figure that guy out. Guys, I'm pretty certain that that is a flower. Oh my gosh, my canna is finally going to bloom. And I'm finally going to see what color it is because I honestly have absolutely no idea what this is. And I'm so fucking excited. Ah, I've been waiting for this thing to flower. Well, that's awkward. Yeah. Super awkward. Not sure this is the intended purpose of my rain gauge, but He's about to join his friends in the soapy bath. Sorry, not sorry, buddy. A non-garden related project that we're gonna take on, hopefully this weekend, these bushes. These are the front of our house. And then there's like a random bush that grew into a tree at the edge there. They've been overgrown since we got here three years ago. We've trimmed them down. Uh, obviously, I haven't trimmed them this year because we planned on ripping them out. Um, but we are getting rid of these. They block our front porch. They block our bedroom window. And that tree scrapes up against the house and it smells like cat pee. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a you. And they stink. And I hate them. And I want to get rid of these. So we're going to do that this weekend. Try to pull these out. They're also over here on the side of our garage. And they're so overgrown that you can't walk on this sidewalk. Like, they take up the sidewalk. There was another one there that we actually did end up cutting down and pulling out. Uh, I don't think it was last year, maybe the year before. But we didn't have any way to really get it out without digging and it took forever and it was really hard and it was a lot of work and we said, eh, screw that. Um, but this is what they all look like. Like the edges are, are leaves, but the inside is just stems and they're gross and I don't like them. And I'm pretty sure that's a golf ball left behind by the previous owner. We've just never picked up. So that's cool. Also, the thing that we're worried about is they painted the stucco of our house around the bushes. So the, bo the bottom of our wall is going to be a different color for a while. But I'm planning on this whole side here of this garage is south facing and it gets all day sun. So I'm going to plant something here something not as gigantic as these bushes i'm thinking irises really really saw a bunch of irises this year that people had planted in the neighborhood and people had shown online and i just love them so that might be the plan for this section here today's project i bought a compost tumbler because I wanted to start making my own compost and our city actually has a program that if you go through like some little online quiz, uh, they give you a voucher, like a $50 rebate for a rain barrel, a compost bin, um, or you can get native trees or $25 off of like native perennials at some of the local garden stores. Um, I chose compost bin. So I got this. This actually is not the one I wanted. Um, I wanted one that was a little higher off the ground, kind of had the like tumbler with like the sliding doors at the sides. Um, 
but that one apparently every single person in town wanted that one uh, because nowhere has it like nowhere none of the stores anywhere in the area has this compost tumbler that I wanted so this is what I got uh, and we're putting it together today and we'll see how long it takes and just how many bad words I say trying to get this thing together so far it's been a lot yeah so we'll see just sitting here minding my own business and that's a wasp so time out on that you can do your wasp things over by my garden but no thank you not hanging out near me taking a break. One more time. Getting there. And they're gone. Legitimate question. How many times is too many times to come out to your garden and count your peppers in a day? Because I feel like I've already counted peppers like three times today. And I get excited every single time. And it's really fucking hot out here. Oh my god. I'm like sweating. And it's done. That took a long time. Uh, there's a little bit of a break in between because we were ripping out bushes in the front yard, but it's done and I have a composter and hopefully I get compost. We'll see. Hey guys, it is Sunday morning out here in the garden. Um, if I look and sound sleepy, I definitely am. Uh, we went to see Fast 9 yesterday at the drive-in, but it was a double feature, so we saw Fast 9 and nobody and then I got home at like 2 in the morning and I should have been to bed at like 10.30 so that was way past my bedtime and I'm just up here drinking my coffee because I gotta wake up um it's a beautiful day actually it's very nice very like mild it's breezy there is a softball tournament happening at the park down the street uh so it's a lot of screaming but it's good morning, and I'm gonna see, uh, I've, I've randomly been coming out here and checking on my tomatoes and my peppers like a thousand times a day, um, but I'm gonna do count and see, you know, this is Sunday, how many peppers can I find to the end of the week, how many more peppers can I find, so I'm gonna just do a quick pepper count, because things are happening. We have one holy moly pepper so far. I don't see any other blossoms quite yet, so that's that's our one and only. So we've got one. Our chocolate habanero. I don't really that was a blossom, so there we go. I don't know if that has fruited or not. I can't tell. Uh so we're still at one. Oh no. We're at two. There's one down there. We have some jalapenos so there is three four five I think I don't see anybody else so yes yeah, so we're up to five we have our first blossom on our chili day or bowl we've got our poblano back here this guy there's two of them one has taken off the other not so much uh, but we've got one two, three of our poblanos. Oh, I've already lost count. Crap. 
what did I say we had five, four, five? Okay, so that's six, seven, eight. Ugh, I'm already bad at this. All right, so then we've got more jalapenos. So there's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, the little guy there. I don't see anybody on that poblano yet. And then we've got this guy. What did I say, 13? Oh. 14, 15, 16. Anybody else up in there? There's a little tiny one. Oh, there's two little tiny ones. Three. Three little tiny ones. 19. <laughs> God, this is terrible. I can't count. Uh, let's see. Serranos aren't really doing much, but there is a blossom. So that's the first blossom on that guy. And then we've got our bells. Bells. I see one. I thought I saw another one. There, yeah, there's another one in there. Was it 21? Oh god, seriously. And then there is 22, 23 in there. And I think, is there another one over here on this one? No, oh, maybe not. Alright, so we're up to 23 peppers. Look what just came running by me. It's a baby deer and mama. Oh, this just made my Sunday. We usually have the little fawns in the neighbor's yard. Let me see if I can. They usually kind of hung out right next to their shed because their backyard was open. This year they put that fence in and I haven't seen any of the babies until now. I was just sitting here drinking my coffee and it just comes galloping through our side yard because we left the gate open yesterday on accident and it just barreled on through and here it is. And now it doesn't know what to do because Mama can't get it. It's too short to jump the fence. I don't know if you can see, but there is another. There's another baby with Mama on the other side of the fence, and it's even tinier. And I love it. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. My boyfriend calls them yard rats, and yeah, there's a lot of deer around here, but I still love them. I don't care. Mama. So let me open the gate for you, babe. So your baby can get out. And open the gate. Right, apparently baby went back through the other gate, so. Mama and baby are free. Bye guys. Oh. And then we need to tackle that today. Mm. The update, I didn't get a video of it because I was more concerned about what was happening. Uh, but baby deer and mom came back. Mom jumped the fence because mom can. Baby can't. So baby tried to figure out how to get through. There's a gap between this fence and our neighbor fence. It's like, not a very big gap. But baby tried to make his way through. And kind of got stuck and got to about here and somehow figured to jump the fence, uh, kind of catapulting off of the back. So baby is out. Baby, we opened the gate back up so the baby could get out, but yeah, this is turning into more drama than I expected. So I think it's been about a week, maybe, since I planted my corn. And I was going to show you guys again, kind of what it looks like. And how much growth has happened since the cat ate it twice. Um, but we left the door open to the sunroom and he ate them again. 
so I think at this point I'm gonna have to start over because uh, he has taken out now one two three four five completely and just eaten the tops off of all of the other ones so I now don't have enough to plant the 16 I was going to plant to begin with so I think we're done I think we're gonna just start over and figure out how to keep the cat away from these so R.I.P. Gorn. I got one Japanese beetle earlier today. Somehow there's four. So thank you, Japanese beetles, for basically doing my job for me and killing yourselves. It's great. Let's work for me. Kind of got lazy and did not harvest this broccoli in time. Because uh, it definitely flowered. But that's okay, because there's all these little bees that have been kind of flying around in there and enjoying it. Little new guy back there. Um, we are going to harvest that guy, which I also waited way too long. Uh, get some of that guy and some of these side shoots off of the big one so that we can have dinner tonight. We're going to make a little stir fry with chicken. Um, probably going to have to supplement some frozen broccoli because it's not quite enough, but should be good. I picked broccoli today to have dinner and as I was getting them prepped and ready to wash I realized I apparently brought three cabbage worms inside with me too. So these are gonna go in the bird feeder and the birds are gonna have some dinner too. Okay, so it's Monday night and I'm out here checking on everything, looking at the peas, I'm seeing all kinds of blossoms, all kinds of pea pods those guys and then I checked this guy and he is kind of fat so that that kind of got me thinking um I should probably check to see when I'm supposed to harvest these apparently sugar peas that I that I sowed here oh, these are are supposed to be done when they don't have very big seeds in them like this guy so I think he's a little overdone I'm gonna get in here and pick some of these others. So, let's get a harvest. All right, I guess there weren't quite as many as I thought there were, but I got some peas. Okay guys, I I really tried. I was out here by myself and I'm like, I've never had a fresh pea, like a sugar pea straight off the vine. So let's give it a try. Maybe it's good, maybe it's good. I bit into it. That's as much of it as I got, because mm, still don't like it. No, not really, not really at all. So, just checking peas off the list. Just, even this garden's not gonna do it for me. Uh, it's my Tuesday morning garden walk before work, and I came out and my sacrificial weed has been kind of eaten, which is fine. That's what it's there for. But I noticed, oh, all those things there. Uh, all along this, there is what appears to be poop all over this plant. Um, so these are obviously some cabbage worms. But what the heck is the poop? What is it? <laughs> I have no idea what is pooping on my plant. And it's gross. But it's like all over it. I see at least three or four piles of poop. And obviously things have been chewing all over this. What am I looking out for? Just leaving this poop behind. Hey guys. It is Tuesday. It is normally my day that I'm in the office, and I was in the office today for part of the day. And then I got a message from my supervisor asking if I had a sweater because my dress that I'm wearing is apparently not appropriate. Like, it's a fucking full length sundress. Like, oh my God, you can see my shoulders. So I got to come home on my lunch 
to get a sweater or to change. So at least I get to check the garden out while I'm home on my lunch break that I have to turn around and drive straight back to work because I barely have time. But I'm gonna check on my garden while I'm here. Hey, it's Tuesday after work now. I wore my sweater for the rest of the day, so no more problems apparently. Um, but at the end of the day, a big old storm rolled through and it actually took our power out here at home. Um, didn't it work, unfortunately. Um, so I don't know if you can hear the noise in the background. That is our neighbor's generator and it's starting to rain again. Great, okay. I'm out here in a white dress, that's cool. Um, but I came to check to make sure that everything survived. It was big enough of a storm to obviously knock down probably some of the mature trees in this area to take out the power lines and just kind of worried about my tomatoes. Um, but they, they all survived. Everybody's looking good. Nobody looks damaged at all. Peppers are doing okay. Uh, and I'm just glad that it's raining so that I don't have to water. Um, it's been really, really hot. Then. Oh, it's raining a lot harder. Okay. Uh, time to go inside. Okay, bye. And um, just hang out in the garden with the plants. Because nothing else to do. And it's the only place that has light. And I think that was lightning. I probably shouldn't say that. I want to go inside, it's so dark. I have nothing to do. I'm so bored.